Hi Scorpio, welcome to your October 2024 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Scorpio. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who really needs to hear this message. Hi Cross Watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Scorpio. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Scorpio and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid, so this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you may feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles, if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Scorpio, so I just want to quickly say thank you for your patience, your understanding. I know it's been a while since I posted, but I had a family situation go on that I had to fly back home to kind of address, but I'm good. My family's good. I missed you guys, and I really can't wait to do this, so thank you so much for your support and your understanding. Let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear, set the energy, and do a mini meditation with you guys. But if you just want to jump right on into the card pool to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you here with me now, thank you so much for joining me. It really does help me connect your energy by doing this. So I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in. I'm going to ring the sound bowl three times. And during that time, I just want you to open up your energy to ask the questions you have in regards to your love life. And we'll see what spirit has to say. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. and tune into the energy of Scorpio. Um, very clearly I saw like a broom and I saw someone sweeping so I don't know if someone's like cleaning some situation up if there's kind of like a sweeping of someone going on um, maybe cleaning house but I feel like I also saw like it going under the rug so I wonder if someone's trying to sweep something under the rug here you them Scorpio but the other person's definitely picking up on it they might not get away with the sleep, the sweeping under the rug. So I'm really curious about this. This could just be a small confirmation for some of you. Let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. So, Spirit, tell me about Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anyone dealing with the Scorpio at this time. What is the energy surrounding them in October 2024? What will be happening we got the full moon in Capricorn, and it says the end of a tough cycle approaches. Ooh, I gotta say, for some of you, this feels karmic. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, someone with strong Capricorn in their chart. You could have Capricorn in your chart, does not have to be the case. I just saw a black leather jacket or like a black North Face that someone may always wear. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's some tough cycle coming to an end. Now, this could mean two things. Maybe the tough and a romantic cycle is kind of coming to an end. But maybe that could either elevate the two of you that I'm connected to or just kind of leave things where they're at. Both of you are good. Um, it's been a long journey for the two of you. So I feel like you guys have known each other for quite some time or have had some sort of cycle go on for quite some time. Let's pull some more cards. I'm seeing someone with one pierced ear. It looks like a diamond stud almost. Um, it could be anything, honestly, if it resonates at all. But <laughs> let's see. Tell me more about this energy for Scorpio. What else is going on in Scorpio's love life in October 2024? Tell me more about Scorpio's love life in October 2024. Okay, so we got soulmate here. Aquarius got this card. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius or if you have strong Aquarius in your chart, I suggest checking out the Aquarius reading to see if there's messages for you there. But okay, this is giving me more information. There's something coming to you know, something cyclical between the two of you that may have like kept you guys apart from not like expanding this. 
that's what's coming to an end. So there could be blockages, there could be outside distractions, there could be internal turmoils with someone that was very stubborn and maybe too stubborn to kind of want to work on it, to want to work with you, but that could be coming to an end at the thought of losing you, at the thought of like something isn't, you know, going the way I thought, even if I tried to work with my ego and make things the way I wanted it. Scorpio is not having it, period. But I do say this is your soulmate energy here. So something's meant to kind of balance out karmically between the two of you. And some of this karma could be from a past life energy. So um, you guys may have known each other in past lives, have been together in past lives, but something couldn't be resolved in a past life that is meant to re be resolved this lifetime. I do feel like they feel bad about, I don't know, the lack they've been doing recently. Maybe even just kind of being distant because right now they want to attach to you. I don't know, maybe you did tit for tat, Scorpio. If they were being distant, you're like, I could do that too. And uh, they really saw that that was something they weren't expecting and wanted to kind of fix almost. You feel each other's energy very, very strongly. Um, even when you're not together or you're not talking, you constantly feel each other's energy. All right, tell me more. There's a song stuck in someone's head and for some reason it makes them think of you or you think of them with that song. Okay. Then we have chemistry. This is what keeps you guys bound together. And it could be that karmic energy, past life energy, but the chemistry is always there. And it says the attraction you feel is mutual. So yeah, I think both of you want this, but both of you have been going about it differently. Or, you know, there's something cyclical that you're like, despite the chemistry, this has to stop. And maybe you had to put a boundary in, maybe you had to put a boundary in for yourself in order for them to get that message. And they got it clearly, okay? So I feel there's going to be a re-sparking of this, but honestly, Scorpio, you could be excited for the fact that there's something that isn't going to continue that has been pushing you guys away. And I'm almost feeling like for some of you, it could be third party energy. Um, that doesn't always have to mean like a third romantic interest, but maybe some sort of interference with job, with family that has been a little bit karmic in this. Let's go ahead and pull some more tarot cards to get deeper into this situation. So I'm going to get all the cards out first and then we're going to do a deep dive. But tell me more about this energy for Scorpio. Ace of Pentacles. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. A promising start. A solid start. A solid offer. One that is breaking cycles. One that is lifting off the burden of something that has been affecting the two of you for so long. You're the real deal, Scorpio. I think they see that. And I think that that's really becoming clear to them the more you're kind of not allowing cyclical toxic behaviors to kind of continue in this. It kind of motivated them in a lot of ways. The sun. Yes. I'm so happy this reading turned out this way so far. But so far, I mean, come on. The sun card is the happiest card in the deck. Positive change positive influence even if it's a challenge card the sun is still overly a positive card and we'll get into that in a second but yeah tell me more mm -hmm. yeah if <laughs> you had enough of something you had enough of it and it really kind of the way you communicated it or the way you were energetically made them realize i gotta stop this yeah okay so bottom of the deck, we have the star card, Aquarius energy. So yeah, this is very strongly indicating to me, um, you know, something was written in the stars here. Something was planned for you guys. And when you guys met the chemistry, this awareness of the depth that you two are going to go was already known from the start, it feels. And I even feel like soul recognition between the two of you. It's kind of hard to describe, but almost as if, you know, when you first talked and really got to know each other, it's like you guys should have met a long time ago or there was some sort of like kindred type of energy between the two of you that felt very strong. I do feel they think of this connection here as definitely the one that stands out the most and out of anyone they've ever dated before, anyone that they've ever had a sexual relationship with before, you are the star in all that, Scorpio. You are one of a kind, you're rare fine. 
And I think the type of energy and chemistry between the two of you is that rare as well. So that's something that I think they've become very clear in as far as you being a soulmate. I think very recently with whatever has been happening, something's hit them as a big sign that you are someone that they need to fight for, that they need to work towards, that they need to keep in their lives because they know they're not going to find anything else like this. Someone may always like to pull their hair back up into a bun. Someone could have like a man bun or like a top knot type of thing going on. But anyway, dead center of this, we have the Ace of Pentacles. If there was ever commitment that was the issue or taking a serious step towards this, I think October is when they're going to do it. And that could mean, you know, you guys finally being exclusive, committed, you guys um, moving in together. You guys could get proposed or proposed to this month and uh, someone may be accepting this. But this is a good start. This is a powerful start. I do want to clarify this. I also feel a gift, a special gift being given to you. And maybe even towards the end of October, beginning of November, since that will definitely be your season, is when they will be wanting to give this to you for your birthday or something. But tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles energy for Scorpio. I'm also seeing someone that likes to wear a gold link um, necklace, bracelet, watch. Ten of Cups. Yes, Cancer Energy. They want the Ten of Cups with you. It's now decided. It's And something like had to kind of be resolved within them or resolved with something outside of their lives in order to do this. I feel like a sacrifice somehow, and I'm not seeing Hangman Energy, but I, it feels like they really decided to do something for you. Three of Cups. Yeah. So Cancer Energy very strongly here with the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. I mean, you are their wish fulfillment. You are the person they know they want to be with. I definitely see for a long time commitment was the issue. And I do see that this person definitely likes their independence. They are definitely the type that likes to, um, I don't know, they thought maybe there was more to experience before they could settle down. But realizing that you were drifting away or that you were kind of really going to tie loose ends if they weren't going to tie themselves up really made them understand all that they could lose. And so I feel they feel they have everything with you, that they are the happiest with you. And with the Three of Cups, uh, they could have been, you know, if you guys were never exclusive, there could have been people who were interested in them, still messaging them, or even the lingering acts. I do feel that. That is gone. They snipped that up. They cut that out. Um, and I again, I don't feel they may have actively cheated. If that is your story, then it's your story. But... It feels more of like emotional, maybe connections that were inappropriate or shouldn't have been there. Or like, maybe they didn't see it that way. Like, oh, we're just friends. I don't know why you're upset about it. But to you, it feels more like, why would you be friends with them though? Uh, something along those lines, okay? But um, really, if that's not even involved in your life, then I think the Ace of Pentacles is bringing a celebration. I think um, with the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups, there could be some sort of family announcements or that you're announcing to your family about the two of you, that you're talking about your family. I definitely see someone very close with their family. And maybe the family was the one that kind of hyped the other person up to finally give the Ace of Pentacles. Um, they're in on the surprise type of energy here. Maybe there's going to be a birthday surprise, I feel, for a few of you in October by this person. Someone could live by like a lagoon or a lake. I see that here. I know that's specific. It's not for everyone. But what's crossing this is the sun card. So Leo energy. I mean, blessed energy, honestly. If this is the highlighting card, then yeah, I think this is it. I think this is what kind of relieves all the karma away. Whatever they're doing, the, uh, you know, action they're taking concretely to make a move, to make something more solid something more trustworthy, reliable, consistent for you. It's just going to clear it all up for you. I don't think you're going to have these second guesses anymore. I don't think you're going to be afraid of certain patterns continuing anymore. I think they've been completely lifted and it's going to make you really happy. And someone loves your smile, Scorpio, seeing your smile like, hey, I, show me that smile. Like they just love it. Um, but I feel overall, if this is even a challenge card, it's a very minor challenge, but almost as if like, is this something I can believe? 
this feels too good. This feels like after everything we've been through, is this finally the ending here? And that's maybe what someone could still be in some way second guessing. Um, you know, there could be someone with a lot of dietary restrictions, whether that's a lifestyle choice like vegetarianism, veganism, or even um, someone has a lot of allergies. And uh, I think maybe for some of you guys, they're doing an effort to kind of help with that, or you are um, more understanding of that, even if you guys couldn't go out as much because of that. I don't know why that's coming through, but it is definitely for a few of you. What's crowning this is the Knight of Cups. So Pisces energy here. Yeah, I definitely feel that someone is coming forward with a offer from the heart. They feel emotionally motivated to do this. They feel now that they can trust their emotions behind why they feel this way about you, especially with the star energy. I do believe they got some sort of sign that they feel was either like, you know, if they're spiritual, universe, God sent, or even just something that was like, wow. <laughs> this is too uncanny for me to ignore. Um, I feel like they found a picture of you from a long time ago recently, or you did of them. And that's something that kind of got their feelings going again. But with this Knight of Cups energy crowning it, yeah, they are coming forward. And what they have to say is coming from the heart. I do feel like this is a new side of them that is really showing you that they care. And I think that that's something you are going to feel and sense. I mean, you're Scorpio, you would be able to pick up on BS from a mile away. I don't think you're feeling that with this person. I think you are feeling like they're genuine. And they know that you're in a very vulnerable place right now, maybe because of the last few weeks or a few months, you've been kind of on the fence if this is worth waiting for, if this is ever gonna end or stop. But truly with the tough cycle, of the ending of a tough cycle approaches card with that Capricorn energy, I really do think you can rely that this person has changed. And I'm an honest reader. If I saw anything, Seven of Swords, Devil, I'd be like, whoa, they're trying to play you here. I see it's for you. It's completely worth putting this change in, this effort in, and giving you what you've wanted from this for so long. It may even catch you off guard a little bit, Scorpio. What's reading this is the Four of Cups. <laughs> this is when this card landed on the table. I'm like, you're not having it. Um, cancer energy. Yeah, I think uh, the way you responded to their patterns recently has been giving them a big wake-up call. You haven't been entertaining it. You haven't been allowing them to come over if they were continuing to do this. So let's. this is just an example. It may resonate. But let's just say you think they were like going out too much, right? And you were like, you know, you go out, I, I'm just here alone, like I, you've been drinking a lot, like, and they were kind of always in denial about it, or just like, no, like you're tripping, you're just trying to keep me from hanging out with my friends, like, and then they try to come over after you're like, no, I'm good, you know, this is something I don't need in my life, like this is something I'm not happy with. And I think you made that very, very clear. And by kind of expressing your unhappiness in this, in a way that was very you know, no longer just giving them the benefit of the doubt has really put a lot of perspective on them. And it can doesn't even have to be that deep. It could be just, you know, the lack of commitment or the fears around commitment. It's me or nothing. And I'm not going to be happy with just waiting around. It's time for you to make a choice. And until it's that choice I want, I'm not going to be satisfied. You gave them an ultimatum, I kind of feel, with this, Scorpio. And it was the right thing to do, absolutely. It got a lot of things in perspective for them. I do kind of want to clarify this card here. Tell me more. Someone could live in an apartment building where you have to get buzzed in, called in, you know. And maybe you didn't buzz them in one time. They got that message. Okay, Six of Cups. Yes, Scorpio energy. Made them reflect a lot about what they've experienced with you. And again, what could be loss? I think during that time where maybe you weren't giving in because they were still choosing a certain pattern or behavior or whatever, it made them really miss you. And I think that spoke enough loudly. Tell me more about this Four of Cups, Two of Swords. It made them face a decision here. Libra energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Scorpio energy. Some of you could possibly be dealing with another Scorpio or someone with strong Scorpio in their chart. But yeah, I think um, 
it really made them have to choose. And that was part of like almost, I don't know if you want to call it sacrifice or just big decision about you and about what they want with you. And I think they're choosing their heart. And again, like it just, I don't know why it feels weird saying that. Maybe it feels weird hearing it because maybe they're not super emotional. Maybe they try to be detached, especially if they have very strong Aquarius or Capricorn in their chart. But I think they are realizing how much they care. That this type of stump or this type of ultimatum hasn't brought these feelings out about anyone, but it came out with you. And to think that everything they've experienced with you from, you know, when you first met to now could just be gone is that risk they don't want to take. So I think that that's kind of what they're facing. And especially if this has been going on for a while, I think they reasonably see that the timeline is coming to the point where you're not going to wait anymore for them to decide or to make a choice that would be important to you. But yeah, with this King of Cups energy, without a doubt, Scorpio, they care about you. They're in love with you. And that's motivating them a lot to do these changes in October. In the recent past, we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, Pisces energy. So there's definitely an emotional withdrawal. And even if it was not like for you and your perspective, something that you cared less about, you just had to show that you weren't going to be as involved. And maybe with the Eight of Cups, like, because of how long you were in this, you may have found yourself wondering what else could be out there. Am I missing out on, you know, ex relationships or experiences that I see other people having that this person has been slow to give me or isn't doing enough to make me believe that this could happen? And I think you definitely in your energy or quite literally just withdrew. And maybe you didn't text as often, you didn't call as often, it took you longer to respond, which was very different for you and them. Um, but they definitely got the hint from that withdrawal there, Scorpio. And I think uh, they are afraid of that withdrawal currently, if that's something you're still going through. Yeah, it's kind of freaked them out to that point. They know that they're not going to find someone else like you. And if you do decide to leave, there is no going back. That's the one thing about Scorpio, they are decisive. And once they get to that point where they're done, yeah, they're pretty much done. And they don't want to be anywhere near that type of water with you, Scorpio, where they could tread too deep and get lost. Wow. All right, Scorpio, to see the likely outcome of the situation, what is likely to happen in full, what are they going to do? We're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome. I'm going to pull some more tarot oracle cards to just dive deeper into this. So guys, if you really felt this was your reading, I promise there'll be more answers in the extended version. So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where you depart, Scorpio, I really hope this has resonated with you. I hope this has given you the clarity, insight, healing, guidance that you were looking for about October in regards to your love life. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Scorpio, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Scorpio.